Hi, my name's Tim. I am building a Zenith CH650, and uh, this is a little information for anybody who's uh, building this kit or thinking about building it. Um, I'm at the tail section portion here. The rudder portion was a little more work than the tail section has ended up being. Um, the kit has advanced a little. I recommend everybody uh, think about picking up the Help for Home Builders DVD series on, on building this airplane. I think it helps a lot. Um, but the tail section uh, has advanced past instructions in that video and past instructions that came from the factory. And it's a pleasant surprise. What we have is, uh, these are the two spars for the tail. And they have doublers, and in the video series and instructions they'd have you drilling the holes to match the, the fit. They already come match drilled, so you're not going to have to do that. Uh, if you look, I don't know if I can get close enough, there's holes on the sides and holes on the face that uh, match up. If you put these doublers in and you're not getting the holes in the right place, don't start drilling it out. Uh, look at what you're doing. You probably have them uh, reversed or not put in the right direction. They do match up. All the holes match. It's easy peasy. So uh, on this uh, spar, you have some L brackets. You have a set of outer L brackets and a set of inner L brackets. The outer L brackets, the instructions uh, in the DVD as well as from the factory, ask you to put a piece of wood here, mark a center line down, and then match whole, uh, drill from the spar into this L bracket. But it's already come match drilled, so you're not going to have to make the wood block. You're not going to have to put that in there. You're just going to put these L angles in, clico them in, put the inner L brackets in, and clico them in. The only thing I would say uh, to keep an eye out for is if you look at this L bracket, this outer L bracket has a side that is, uh, has a little bit of a degree to it, a downward degree cut in it. And you could reverse the left and right brackets and have that cut coming upward at the bottom instead of downward at the top. Um, the, the thing that is a giveaway for that is when you mount these inner brackets, they also are cut at a downward angle. So if you have your outer L bracket sticking up a little bit, you probably reversed them and need to flip them. Uh, this is the other spar. Uh, it came with a, this plate already match drilled as well, and this plate match drilled. Um, I was expecting to have to cut this hole out, so I'd gotten the drill bit to do it. Um, but a nice surprise, it came from the factory pre-cut, uh, match hole drilled. You did have to cut out the sides, but it actually came marked from the factory, so you didn't even have to mark it. I just drilled out the corner uh, with a drill bit for a little radius there, and I cut that, the sides, with a Harbor Freight uh, metal shear, and that worked good. You could also use a bandsaw or a hacksaw. Um, after I cut it, I took it and I have a belt disc sander combination and I cleaned up the cuts really nice and then took a file and deburred all the edges and made sure that everything was clean. Um, as well as that match drilled, the spars are match drilled. So in the instructions in the DVD, they ask you to draw a line down the middle of this and then you've been holding it up onto the spar and match drilling from the other side. You're not going to have to do that. It's already match drill free. It's going to really increase the speed of the tail assembly. That wasn't the case uh, for the rudder. You did have to take a piece, mark it down the center line, hold it to where the holes were on the other side, look through, see the black line, and then drill out the holes. So this uh, tail kit is going together faster than the rudder. And hopefully that information helps you out a little bit as you're putting together your tail section.